So this is it, 22 Britannia Road. It's a Victorian single bay and forecourt. Like that one. But unfortunately that way, they put this monstrous 60s-ish type thing in. So when I buy the house next door, that's coming straight down. So it's a house with two floors at the front and three at the back. Um, here's the front room. I spent loads of time in here. The floorboards have been up and gone back down again. Treated for woodworm. There used to be a fireplace right there. Horrible 30s thing, that's out. Um, this door, which now looks whoops, beautifully original, was stripped recently. All the paint came off that. And I've stripped the frames. So that's a labour of love. See these frames here. They're not finished yet. That's just getting the paint off. Or the varnish or the particular finish which was part of the original setup. I'll show you some of that later. Anyway, so in this room there wasn't a coving. So I think it was yesterday, Brad finally came around and put this coving up. Which when it's painted and finally blended in will look fantastic. And I bought this ceiling rose. 70 quid, what a bargain. It's made of plaster and it will go there. How about that? So this is what was the main living room and it will be a bedroom when I let it. Can't wait to get the bloody carpet down in this room. That's the rest of the house that way. We'll go up the stairs later and then down to the kitchen later. Probably up the stairs first, but first of all, this is the second reception, which will also be a bedroom when I let it. This had the original coving in, so I didn't have to do anything, and it had the ceiling rows. But another disgusting fireplace from the 30s in there, which has since been removed. So right now, this is in use as my office. There you go. And there's a little peek into the garden. Hmm, garden, well it's a yard really. So, yeah, I'll go into the front room. These skirting boards, well you can see how high they are. It has been said that the higher the skirting board, the more wealthy the property in days gone by. Well that's a seriously healthfully high skirting board. It must be at least 15 inches. And it's not made of wood. It's either plaster or concrete which has been fashioned. And these um, electrical sockets that you can see, they were actually proud. They were mounted in, into a box, proud of the surface. And it took a lot of effort to get the whole chiselled out of the plaster and then set these little mothers back into the wall. So that's about it. We'll go out this room again. This is the first reception. There's a futon. Hmm. That'll be up soon. And there's the stairs to go up to the mezzanine. Okay, so let's go upstairs now. This is the cleanest the stairs have ever been. Here's my CD collection. It's been here since the day I moved in, looking for a home. <laughs> Lots of important things in the bathroom. I know it seems strange. There's a boiler there. There's a hi-fi. Lots of stuff. It's where I dry my clothes. Indiana Jones hat, or Indiana Tones I should say and stuff that I just don't need, but is mine. What well, I don't need, I don't need immediately. And then here's the bath and the shower. It's all gonna change. And in the most ridiculous position possible, the basin, can you believe they did that? This stuff on the doors was put there when the house was built, around about 1885. Incredible. And then 
this little thing here, which is the latch to the um, <laughs> the loo. Well, anyway, that latch again, 1885. Look at this little loo, very small. There's some work to be done here. More about that later. Because what we'll do is knock that wall through to the bathroom. Stick a shower in there, move the loo around, and this huge waste of space in the bathroom will become actually part of this space here. Move the boiler. This space here will become a shower and a wash basin and the loo. Clever, eh? So that's that. Now the next set of stairs. So this is the mezzanine floor, and then we go up to the first floor. I've had a couple of doors stripped already. This is the only room, this is my refuge. You see this beautiful door's been stripped, that horrible stuff. It's still on the, um, the frames. But this is my refuge, my bedroom. It's the only room that's done, and it is more or less done. There's a little bit more to do, but the bed's in here. Not my choice of curtains, they came with the house. But there you go. So, God, it was so nice when this was done. And this cupboard here, I'll have that door off soon and it'll be taken down to the strip joint as it's known to be stripped and I'll strip the frame as well. And it will look like this beautiful door look. The next bedroom, which is the next one to be completed, the frame will look like that. All right, here's the two doors that go on there you can see them they're going down the strip joint too and I did this this morning stripped it back to the wood it'll look great when I finished finished it so there we go this is the second bedroom it's on the first floor and there's a sneak preview of the garden and the yard. Well, the yard. Okay, so back out of this room. Another great door. Into the hallway, and there's the top of the house. So up to the top floor. This is like the th at the back of the house. So there's three floors at the back, two at the front. Um, and there's just a bedroom up here in a cupboard. This is like the storage cupboard. Well, you can't see in there unless I put the light on, but there ain't much to see really. Anyway, and then this bedroom, which we'll have to have a little bit of work done on it. A little hole in the roof there, or in the ceiling I should say. All the ceiling's going to see is a bit of a pitch on the on the roof there. This is at the back of the house. So all that stuff's coming down and plasterboard going back up. Little window looking outside onto the neighbours. Ha ha, look at all that. All the backs of these Victorian houses. I'll take you down into my garden later. I fondly call this the music room because it's got all my guitars and all this gubbins in it. Um, this room is not big enough to let, the man told me yesterday, unless I knock a hole. Well, there's various different options, but my preferred option is to knock a hole in this wall here, which will effectively make this cupboard that's out here part of this room. And then it will be 6.5 square metres and then it will meet the requirements of the local authority. I don't mind doing that. Okay, I think we need a bit of garden. There we go.